Here are some stories making headline news across African newspapers this Tuesday, October the 15, 2019. This is from the US. Trump, let China, China, Russia, or Napoleon Bonaparte protect the courts. <laughs> yes, that is what I'm talking about. Once President Trump allowed the Turkish army to enter Syria, and they started to kick the butts of America's ally, the courts, and there was a mess everywhere. Trump did what every great leader does. He threw the courts a lifeline. Napoleon. <laughs> Who wants that nonsense? Yeah? Let Napoleon protect the courts. This one is for Rudy Giuliani and all those preparing to go to war with President Trump. He has a unique way of saying, lean on me. <laughs> When you're not strong, lean on me. Nonsense. Oh, 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 this is this is a sad story from Texas. Texas black woman killed by white police officer in her own home while she was babysitting eight-year-old nephew. Very sad story. A neighbor saw the front door of this woman's home open at 2 a.m. in the morning and called the police. He wanted the police to go in and do what they call a wellness check. Because, because in America, dear America, you don't speak to your neighbor, much less going in there to check if everything is alright with them. No, no, you don't do that. That's not, that's no, 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 no. The police came and they shot the woman dead while she was babysitting her nephew in her own home. And tomorrow, somebody will tell me that America is not the greatest country in the world. Let me hear you say that again. Nonsense. Oh, oh, this is, this is a lesson for all professors all over Africa. Retired academic Kais Said is said to become Tunisia's next president after a landslide victory in Sunday's election. He was a former law professor and he got 73% of the votes. Young people supported him in large numbers. I bet you, I bet you, when he was teaching at the university, he was not taking some 17-year-old female students to a cold room. Imagine Boniface, the Randy lecturer, running for president. Mbano, hero! So let this be a lesson to all you professors. Behave well, because you may want to run for president tomorrow. You don't want women coming out from everywhere and saying, ah, he did this to me this year, he did this behave well. Oh, this is another sad story from Nigeria. Police discover torture center with 300 inmates in Buhari's own village of Daura. Now, the other time, it was 400 inmates in an Islamic center in Kaduna. Now, 300 in Daura. How many people do you think are locked up in such centers in Kanu and in Sokoto? Do you know? You know that a lot of people know where these torture centers are, but they are not talking. And this is our Nigerian society that we expect to thrive. Nonsense. Oh, just to understand how, how people who run the country think, think, listen to this. Security more important than rule of law and human rights, says custom boss uh, Ahmed Ali. You can be sure that the man felt great full of wisdom after saying that. He probably felt patriotic. Let me ask you, what causes insecurity? Is it not lack of rule of law and disregard of human rights? Will we have had the form of Boko Haram that we have today if security agencies had not disregarded rule of law and human rights of Boko Haram founder? Will we? No! You see, you see it is okay not to know. What is sad is when you do not know, and you do not know that you do not know. That is terrible. Pathetic. Ah, now this is drama in Aso Rock. Aisha Buhari attacked us inside Aso Rock, says Mamandaura's daughter Fatima. I say, oh Lord. So, so, so Aisha left, and the cabal moved in. <laughs> when they heard that Aisha was coming back from London, why didn't they clear the way? Why? Nonsense. Well done, Aisha. Well done. Well done. Well done, madam. Eh? You may have abandoned the other room for the other woman. But, goddammit, nobody should lock you out of your apartment in Asorok. You're the first lady. 
I'm glad that you told them who born you. You don't mess with other Mawa women. They are not like Kanu or Kasina women. No, 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 no. You don't do that. You don't do that. I'm warning you. I thought you guys know that. You don't do that. <laughs> oh, finally, this is this this is a terrible. Okay, it's funny. It's terrible. It's funny. Anyway, funeral cracks up as dead man screams, "Let me out of this coffin!" <laughs> An army veteran in Ireland got the last laugh when his voice boomed out of his coffin as he was being lowered into the grave, saying, "Let me out! It is dark in here." Over a million people have viewed that clip. Half of that million are African pastors. Oh yeah, these pastors are now trying to figure out how to integrate this technology into their miracles. <laughs> you see it very soon. In South Africa, it will happen. You will hear dead people talking in the grave. Just watch. These are some of the stories making headline news today. Uh, if your kind of story is not one of them, don't worry. Tomorrow is another day. Okay.